Welcome traders, this is Hari from FIG. This is my channel in which I post all my trading strategies and techniques through which I earn a decent amount of profit from the Indian markets. So what I would suggest you is follow all these strategies and techniques. I'll be uploading at least one video per week. So follow each strategies and invest a very small capital say 100 rupees is even good and test each strategies. If you find these strategies are working then bring in more capital. So follow all these techniques and if you find anything odd or if you have any doubts in these strategies, please feel free to comment in the comment section and I will rebut you back with the proper reply. This is my Facebook group in which I post all my day trading blogs. I am not interested in giving any trade calls for now but I am giving all my intraday picks daily at 8.45 am. So only in these talks I will be doing my trade and in the evening I will be posting all my analysis and my profit and loss chart. So follow my group in Facebook and subscribe to my channel in YouTube to get more updates on my channel. Well, let's get started. Today we are going to learn how to avoid unnecessary stop losses by selecting proper entry and exit point. Assume you buy a stock at Rs 100 with a target of 101 and a stop loss of 99.4. So here the Im image says that you bought at 100 and your stop loss got hit and you got out of the trade. But suddenly the market zooms to your target and it goes above. So wh what, what do you think actually? You might feel that your stop loss was wrong. But I would say your entry point was wrong. Whenever you place a target or whenever you place a trade, you should not check for, you should not place in a market order. In Kite, you, in Kite or any other trading, trading application, there is something called market order, there is something called limit order. You will place your order in the market price, that is whatever order the system is going to execute. Or you can place your order at the limit price that is you say the system you buy or you sell the stock at this particular price this is what a limit order means you have to check your your trade panel in trade panel there will be an option called market depth this market depth will show you what are all the orders which are waiting in the queue to be processed here in Reliance Infra, if you see, there are orders at 416.85. So the maximum order is 453 orders. Maximum quantity is 453 and the order is 2. So it's 906. But that's not the maximum volume. If you see 416.70, it is 360 into 5. So it's around 1800 stocks waiting to be executed at that price. You have decided that you, have, you are going to go long. You have selected the stock, but you will panic seeing the price has increased and you will enter into a market order or whatever order it is currently in. That is, that is totally wrong. You have to wait for your entry point. For a 400 rupees stock, we, we have just saved 30 paise. Whatever may be, the price will come to 416.70 and then it will go up for sure. You implement this from your trade tomorrow and you check the difference in your target and stop losses. You will find a tremendous change in your orders and your in your trades. You can apply this logic both for long and short. In case of short, you have to check where is the high volume located in the queue on the seller side. Hope this will help you in all your trades or in all your future trades. Please note your change in trade after applying this logic. It will tremendously change your success pattern. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.